I'm not quite sure this would be a successful store setup, but I've been wrong before. If you're wondering how I've got my store set up so self-sufficiently, one step would be to work on your supplies. Definitely getting them up to 11,500 is a good idea, as well as keeping your workers down to a minimum. If I were to only have four workers, such as three janitors and one guard, I'd be paying 90 a minute, which over the course of two hours, that'd be $21,600. Of course it could be worse. gonna have hundred and seventy dollars per minute it's uh... Let's do math here real quick, hundred and seventy times two forty forty thousand eight hundred for two hours which isn't bad a couple hours ago I made a little over two hundred thousand dollars And resupplying everything, I only spend a hundred and three thousand three hundred and thirty dollars. With a setup like this, your your store will run as self-sufficient as possible with just a guard and three janitors. I usually let my stocks ring, my I usually let my uh, my shelves go completely empty before I go and buy more uh, more stock. At this point, I wanted to see how long I could keep it going for as long as possible without having to close my store. And so far, it's been about five and a half hours. As you can tell, I bought quite a bit of stock here. I don't even have any more land to go for. I've pretty much bought all that there is to buy, including parking lot, billboard, so on and so forth. Yeah, that's, the, that's the highest you can go. The lowest you can go is a dirt patch for two spaces and five, seven, ten. And what I have right now is 22 spaces. Lower than, lower than this obnoxiously large billboard. There's some pretty crappy signs. Most people were asking me on Facebook, yeah, what retail tycoon, like, uh, what parts of, re well, what aspects of retail tycoon I like the most. I'd have to say it's the, uh, the money management, it really, it really tests your skills at, uh, your, your finances and your ability to make a profit. But I've also seen it as a way to, uh, test how well I could set up a store that would be uh, efficient for customers to move around buy stuff and make a profit from all also offering as much to sell as possible increasing those profits if I were to let if I were to completely stock all these shelves as I do now as I do usually when I start this game up I can make four hundred thousand dollars within 
12 hours because even at the, the maximum pace these NPCs will go at, which would be early in the morning up until about 7 o'clock when a bunch more people start getting online and clogging up the servers. These, these NPCs will spend, will, will make you about a thousand dollars every 120 seconds or so. If you do the math on that, that's hundreds of thousands of, hundreds of thousands of dollars by the time they start getting bogged and slowed down. I, I just checked in our Roblox servers for this game and there's 1300 people playing right now on the, on the servers available for Retail Tycoon. I could set up a VIP server, but that'd kind of be a waste of my money because those servers usually entitle you to set privacy settings. It still gives you six bases for more people to join in on. But it's the the cons for it are you're playing by yourself and you're not getting you don't get to interact with a whole lot of random people. And on the on the pro side you don't run into anybody with a large amount of latency because the NPCs to move around even slower. But this game will run smoother on a PC, mostly because that was that's what it was optimized for before. It went it ported to mobile and then ported to console. Not quite sure if this is available on PS4. Nobody's really said anything about it. But seeing as how one of the consoles you can sell here. As you can see, Xbox One, PB4. I, mean, I would assume that they have it on PS4. But I've also seen enough people go bankrupt that I tried to give them some advice on making couple hundred thousands of dollars a day in this game but they end up ignoring it saying they know how to play and end up going 1500 in debt and just quitting the game because they don't get how it's played so this is basically a walkthrough of how to do it as, uh, as efficiently as possible I'm gonna start out with a store this size over here, about five grand to start with. What you want to do is set down two shelves, load them up with uh, candy and toys. Of course, you can either set down a self-checkout or register. Both of those are perfectly fine if you don't mind standing in one spot for about an hour before you start getting enough profit to expand your store, your supplies, and your stock. Eventually you'll move up to a store the size of mine where you're making anywhere up to two hundred to three hundred thousand dollars in profits and you start realizing that you can remodel as much as you want, you're still going to have enough money to do even more remodeling. Like uh, you, you may have seen a few differences in my last few streams for Retail Tycoon. Real shitty looking store. It's a restock room all on the side here, but I've moved all that to the back. Widened up my store, made it look more... Uh, open I guess with all this all this glass and everything Let's see if I can get some music going back up in here it's been the music has been pretty damn glitchy I'm not sure why I think you select one and 
all of them will play almost simultaneously and it irritates the crap out of everybody. We'll see if they fix that. Let's look in the uh, change log here. It doesn't really say exactly other than the whitelisting which is completely useless because even when you whitelist somebody like if I were to whitelist one of my friends let's say crazy uh, he'd get help furnish and build parts of my store as well as restock my shelves which I can do pretty easily on my own but he won't be making any money unless he's running his own store at the same time and has his semi self sufficient with at least one restocker and a self checkout. If you see these guys, man, they will buy at least three grand worth of anything. Back when I had the store the size of uh, this corner here. Filled with candy, toys, and soda. He took half of half of a fridge and almost an entire shelf of candy. Paid for it all and laughed. And uh, difficult things to sell are the automotive parts books sorta of difficult you'll definitely have enough of those to go a whole day if you just buy uh, I think 180 of them to fill up four shelves you'll have enough to go through a whole day since, since the sun never moves it's, it's, it's really boring because you don't have a day night cycle you, you don't get to see just how well lit your store is or, or how poorly lit it is which is why I never really go for uh, roof uh, or ceiling lights such as these or these mostly because they're completely useless and as long as you have uh, glass ceiling tiles or glass walls you'll get enough light coming in that you really don't need any lights yeah the carpeting is somewhat useful but uh... as you can see even with what I have now when I tab up to manage and open up the data ratings decoration never really gets that past one star even when I had this whole store in blue and uh stone tiles for carpeting and flooring and loaded up with benches and plants and never really got up past two stars can't even uh, put up paintings or anything like you can't have a, a mural on your wall Some people have said that uh, having a custom image on your sign does help with decoration, but I have no proof. They have no proof of that, and I don't plan on spending 15 Robux just to get a custom image, other than what I have, which I think is custom enough. But I. I would also like to say that if you are going to play this game, just don't spend any actual money to get in-game money to get to a point like where I'm at, because that's just going to be a waste of your time, and it's not going to be much fun once you do that, because then you'll get bored of it. Like, for me, I've spent a month on this to get to where I'm at. Right, right, right now I'm spending money on 1120 sodas, 270 food, 249 toys, 420 frozen foods, 90 electronics, 168 hats, 50, 504 shirts, 300 candy, 160 card parts, 180 books and games, 
72 phones and 24 tablets. And, and that's just to fill up everything, but the center of the store, which is more like it, uh... Oh, I've actually been thinking about putting some benches in here, but... Those take up more space than they should. It doesn't sound like the music music is glitched out anymore. I mean, it wasn't playing a moment. And now that I say that, the music just randomly stops. That's just, that's just hysterical. Or maybe it's still playing for you guys, but I can't hear it out of my TV speakers anymore. And that's why I just play my own music. But, uh... As I walk around, I'm seeing some random players taking a look around, probably getting some inspiration. There's Chaos. I think I've seen him in an earlier game. Maybe Phantom Forces. Gaming pro my ass. I have yet to see a legit gaming pro, honestly. It only makes you it only makes you look like an idiot for calling yourself a gaming pro. And by almost makes you look like an idiot. I kind of mean it literally does make you look like a complete idiot. Now, this is an interesting design here. I really see no use for those lights up there. He's got empty shelves. The store is closed too. He probably doesn't even have any more money to buy stock. Yeah. He might have enough to start restocking his shelves, but I, I just don't get the point in these ceilings. It, it honestly looks very useless to me. Especially with this manager test. Do not go with the manager. Not only are you spending 40 bucks a minute, but they're just gonna, they're, they're just gonna, uh, like if you don't moderate how much they uh, automatically buy for you. They will, they will buy stock for you, but if, if you don't moderate what they're buying per minute, they could quickly send you into debt. And I know you've I know you guys have seen me use a, a manager in my past broadcast, but that's when I started figuring out just how much uh, how how glitched out. Those uh, those managers were. Like some of them wouldn't even auto buy anything for you at all. Some of them would like even if you set them to buy ten of each item every minute, they would glitch out and buy. Uh, they they would buy ten of each item, but they would glitch out and buy them every thirty seconds. We got a double robbery here. Let's go ahead and arrest these guys. You know, that's why I have a guard, but oh well. I like arresting these guys. Tattooing over here, you got two sons, man. Yeah, I actually want that, that one's a moon, but still. And Ayahagi, the guy that made this game, 
after the uh, the original Retail Tycoon was broken by uh, by Roblox updates. He, he he basically remade it from scratch. They're, if you watch uh, Big Granny Triple O, it's just three zeros after the Big Granny. You'll see that there was never uh, these walls were never here, and uh, there there were tunnels. But if you went to the end of them, they didn't teleport you to the other end. They just stopped. Sometimes they'd glitch out and you'd fall right off the map. Same thing if you went to the edge here, where these new walls are. You would, you could just fall right off the map, and as you go down, you could see where the uh, the script area was that showed. There was basically a red, a uh, red gigantic block that showed that that was a script area for all the NPCs, starting from the parking lot and ending at the very end, of, very back of your store that you could buy. You can claim these, but you can never make it over them. Do a little parkour here. Get in there. Get in there. Yep. Invisible wall. If you guys want to see me play more Roblox games, just uh, leave in the comments. I'll have a I'll have a list shown of all the games I have from Retail Tech and the Phantom Forces. Might do a little bit of minor saving, but that game gets so bad at lag. Even if you're playing on a solo server, which I which I haven't which I started offering I think it like last week, but even in those ones. The game can lag out so bad. I could literally just, uh, and I have, I've been doing it for the past four and a half hours. You could just sit up here on one of these uh, refrigerators. You won't idle. It, you can idle and it won't kick you out. You could just sit here. Why are your workers go back down to four for ninety a minute? Just let them buy everything you have, and you'll just end up you'll end up with an empty store and a bunch of trash everywhere that the janitors haven't gotten around to cleaning up. But you'll end up with with nearly five hundred k. If I were to have every single part of this store covered in shelves and stuff to sell, like a handful, like half a dozen uh, registers, I could probably get to just over 500,000. If I did, if I wasn't so uh, spacious with my uh, with my shelves and displays. Probably make quite a bit of money with this setup if I had it a little more complex. Might want to go ahead and get another janitor just to keep up with all the customers. Well, the worst thing that can happen when it's starting to lag out like this, and this isn't bad compared to what I've seen, but it it has been pretty bad lately. Worst thing that can happen is like nothing but vans in your parking lot with uh, nothing but uh, rich ass guys in here. Sure, you'll you'll literally sell everything in your store in just a matter of minutes because they they will take five of everything at some uh, at any point. You can make thousands of dollars. And just to show you how easy it is to make thousands of dollars, look at this 20, 20, 40, 40, 50, 60, 80, 120. 
it's just so easy to make a couple thousand dollars with what you're selling. I hope you guys liked this uh, walkthrough and uh, quick tips on how to make a couple thousand dollars within a few hours. And it, as I've been as I've been uh, broadcasting, I've already made 25k. I was gonna show you guys the money I had when I was uh, when I got myself into. $1,400 worth of debt, but by the, but by the time I got the uh, the broadcast going, I already had, I think it was 13k, and I, and I wasn't even in debt anymore because I just had so many customers coming in, and so much stuff being bought at such high prices that it it, it was it was incredibly easy to get out of debt. I'll see if I can buy the max amount of, uh, of employees here to see how fast I can go into debt. This is going to take quite a while. So let's see about some supplies here. Find the most expensive ones. Of course, it's going to be the tablets. Let's go ahead and buy a ton of those. Let's see, 380 in debt. See how fast it goes out. Two seventy. Oh, um, six ten fourth now. Just keep jumping back and forth right now. $70 and 10 right there at a positive three, 310 uh, you also have to be able to afford 10 then it's worth the pay to hire which is a little ridiculous in my opinion At least those eight, uh, those eight janitors probably have to clean up the store real easily, or real quick, I should say. Not sure how well those restockers did. It didn't even look like they got to doing anything. It, but I'd say the best times to play this game are anywhere between ten. PM to about uh, eleven o'clock in the morning. The, the servers just won't be so jam packed. And if you're lucky enough, you might get into one of their brand new servers, which I think almost have no lag depending on uh, where you're connecting to it from. If you live in the Midwest, you'll, you'll have an optimal connection to almost any server in the U.S. You're smack dab in the middle of the country. But I really wish they had more uh, game companies and uh, like Microsoft, uh, Sony, Steam, so on and so forth. I really wish they had uh, more server farms and data centers. In more places than just uh, the the east and west coast, uh, some uh, some parts of the south. There's hardly any in the 
Minnesota, or Iowa, Kansas, or Chicago, not even in Denver. Sure, servers cost a lot to maintain and uh, keep running, but places, uh, companies like Microsoft are making millions a year to stuff of microtransactions and games alone. I, I, I really don't see why it would be so hard to put more data centers and server farms in, uh, in Midwestern states. It just makes more sense to me that there, that there were more server farms and data centers in the Midwest. Even though it's in milliseconds, uh, 30 milliseconds, like uh, like I have from where I'm at to St. Louis, it's just where the nearest uh, data center is for, or was at for uh, my when I did Titanfall, the the uh, pre-alpha tech test when I was doing that, the data center they had set up for anybody in the Midwest was St. Louis. And that was 28 milliseconds for me, but it made a hell of a difference when I played with people that had up to 100 milliseconds or more. And uh, when, when information is going back and forth between the player, the server, and the data center, which can be in three locations, sometimes four different locations. Especially if it has to go through a third party server. It's uh it's gonna get pretty laggy. I I guess that's one of the cons of playing on a console because you know on a PC you could just buy a server closest to you. As, as a third party server own it and everything and have to pay somebody f to maintenance it and everything like that but I'm pretty sure that would cut down on a lot of latency but, uh, I'm not a PC guy and uh, I have an interest in it but I, I just don't see myself actually playing PC games other than maybe Space Engineers and Daisy if we want to get a PC, but that's about it. <coughs> yeah, thank you guys for uh, viewing my uh, my my uh, retail tech and walk through and quick guide to making a couple thousand an hour. I know I got a little off topic, but who doesn't like that? See you guys next time. Have a great day, a wonderful week, and enjoy the weather.